Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be bringing you four different Ray Dunn Dollar Tree hacks today. You'll see a couple in the background here. I did a video on those. If you'd like to check that out, I will link that below. I've also done several in the past. I've done mugs, I've done bowls, I've done mixing bowls. So I will also link those down in the description box below so you can check those out after this video. But let's go ahead and get started with our first project. This first project was inspired by a plaque that I found at Home Goods. And let me show you the supplies that we need to recreate this. So you'll need one of these bamboo cutting boards from the Dollar Tree as well as wire from the Dollar Tree. This was a set of four and I'll be using the black out of the set. You'll also need white chalk paint, a foam paintbrush, a drill with a drill bit, a piece of scrap wood, and then I'm going to be sharing with you two different techniques on how to apply your design to the front. You can either use a vinyl decal, or if you don't have a vinyl machine, I'm going to show you a different technique as well. Before we work on our design, we're going to prep our plaque first. So I just set my cutting board on the scrap piece of wood and drilled a hole into each one of the corners. And that scrap piece of wood protects our surface so we don't drill into our work surface accidentally. And here's a close-up look at the placement of the holes. And now we're going to chalk paint our plaque. So I gave the sign two coats of chalk paint, making sure to make the top smooth as I possibly could get it. I didn't want to miss the edges or the corners, so I did two coats on the top, let that dry, before I came back and flipped over the plaque to add two coats to the back as well. And here's a close-up look of the plaque completely dried and I'm gonna share with you the technique on how to apply your design without having a vinyl cutter or a decal. You're going to need your design. This is the using the font The Skinny. It is three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. You can create this in your Word program. You'll also need a pen, a Sharpie, a soft charcoal, as well as some tape. After you have printed off your design on a printer, just using plain white paper, you are going to want to flip your design over and rub your soft charcoal on the back of your design. Next, you want to add a little piece of tape to the top of your design and apply it to the center of your plaque. Now we're going to take our ink pen and we're going to press firmly down over the letters one at a time. And you'll notice that I'm trying to keep my wrist and hand off of the paper because if you push anywhere down where there's charcoal, you're going to have that rub onto your paint and you don't want that. So if you just follow the lines with your ink pen and that's the only thing that touches the charcoal, you won't have a big mess once you go to remove your paper. So you just want to follow each letter and kind of check your design as you're going along to make sure that that charcoal is transferring onto your plaque. And here is a close-up look at the charcoal transfer design. And now we're going to go back in with our black Sharpie marker and just trace each letter. And that's going to permanently add our design to the plaque. And now if you do have a vinyl machine, it's the same concept. So this design is still three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. I have a Silhouette Cameo that I cut my designs in. So I'm using Oracle Vinyl number 651 in matte black for this. And I'm using Duck Brand Transfer Tape to transfer my design from the paper onto the plaque. 
and you just want to center your design really well and then come in with your squeegee to transfer your design onto the plaque completely and then remove your transfer tape. I will have all of the decals that you see in today's tutorial available in my Etsy shop, which you can shop online at at crossmyheart.com. And now we're going to add the wire hanger to the top, so I'll be using some wire cutters for this. So like I said, I'll be using the black which came in the dollar store set. And all I did was feed it through the front of the plaque and pull it out through the back and wrapped the wire around itself. So I didn't necessarily tie a knot or anything, I just wrapped it around and around to make sure it was secure. And then I just cut a length off before repeating the process. So I pushed the wire through the front, pulled it through the back, and then twisted and twisted the wire around itself to create the wire hook at the top. For this next project, we're going to be creating a framed wood sign. And here is a look at the supplies you'll need for this project. And the main thing that you'll need is a stretched canvas from Dollar Tree in an 8x10 size and some white foam board from the Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to be using my white chalk paint again and a foam paintbrush. You'll need a flathead screwdriver, your hot glue gun, and glue sticks. I'm also going to be using traditional burnt umber acrylic paint by Americana. You'll also need some paper towels, a vinyl decal, or a printed design. And you can use the same technique like we did in the first project by using the charcoal method. And last, you'll need a very sharp X-Acto knife. To get started, you're going to want to remove the canvas from the wood frame. And I started by picking all of the staples out and it was actually sort of kind of a pain to do it that way. So I ended up just ripping the canvas off and then I went back in with a hammer and hammered all the staples flat. And we're gonna use that side as the back anyway and you're not gonna see it. So if you can't get all of the staples off, it's not really a big deal because you're not gonna see the back side. And now we're going to faux stain our wood frame with a traditional burnt umber and a foam paintbrush and a wet paper towel. So all you want to do is dip your brush into the paint and you want to apply the paint to the wood frame and then go back over your paint while it's still wet with your wet paper towel. And basically that's going to wipe off the excess paint and just leave you with a nice wood grain finish. Next, I traced my wood frame onto the foam board using a pencil, and then I used my sharp X-Acto knife to cut that rectangle out. And then I went in with my chalk paint and gave it two coats of white, letting it dry in between coats so it would have a nice, more rustic farmhouse uh, finish to it. And I'll also share with you here the difference between finishes of the chalk paint and then just the bare foam board. And then I just used my hot glue to glue around the edges and add the frame on top. And I just made sure that nothing was hanging over and then went back with my burnt umber acrylic paint around the edges to camouflage the white foam board.
And now it's time to add the design to our piece. And I'll be using the vinyl for the rest of this, but of course you can refer back to the charcoal method. This design is again using the font, the skinny, and the family design is seven inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. And I will be using my duck brand transfer tape again to transfer my design from the paper backing onto the wood side. You can find Duck Brand Clear Laminate in Walmart's contact paper section. If you can't find it at your Walmart, I will also have it in my Amazon Favorites store and I'll link that down in the description box below. Once I had my design completely centered and where I wanted it, again I just used my squeegee to apply the design and remove that clear transfer tape to, from the top. These next two projects are really simple. We're just gonna be adding decals to some Dollar Tree products. This is a spoon rest and I've included the UPC code if you are looking for it within your own Dollar Tree. And again, I'll be using Oracle number 651 matte black vinyl for this. I'm using the font The Skinny again and this design is two inches wide by one and a half inches tall. And for our last project, we're going to be creating a Ray Dunn inspired cutting board. So this is just a white cutting board from the Dollar Tree. It's called a paddle cutting board. And I'm also going to be using matte black oracle vinyl in number 651 again. And that beautiful Ray Dunn inspired font called the Skinny. This design is four inches wide by three and a half inches tall. You could also use the charcoal method for this as well. And again, all it is is weeding your vinyl out and applying your decal to the front of the cutting board. Now the cutting board does have a lot of texture on it, so you have to take your time um, and sort of pull the vinyl back very slowly and sort of use your squeegee to coax the vinyl onto the cutting board. It can be done, it's, it just takes a little bit more time than a flat, flat surface. And if you purchase this uh, decal, which is available in my Etsy shop, which is crossingmyheart.com, your vinyl decals will come completely weeded with the transfer tape on top and completely ready to go and ready to be applied.
Thank you all so much for joining me for today's tutorials. Since I brought you four different ones, let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite and which one are you going to try. I hope you'll take a second to give this video a thumbs up. You can also hit the share button and share this video with your friends and family and inspire them too. And I also hope that you will hit the subscribe button and stick around as I bring you new DIYs, new tutorials, and new inspiration every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.